going on guys welcome back to bw bros productions where today is just me nathan or green carbon whatever you want to call me and happy new year hope you had a merry christmas hope 2021 will be a lot better than 2020 because 2020 was a pile of shit and no one liked it i will admit it wasn't all bad at home i had some good times at home i don't know if you did if you didn't then i am very sorry so let's hope 2021 will be a 10 times of a better year than 2020 was but today guys we're taking a look at a figure that i've wanted for so long and i was able to get it with some christmas money i got the war doctor 50th anniversary figure so let's take a look at it so guys here we have the war doctor figure and its accessories and this figure is fucking amazing it is so good i love this figure so much i have opened it but i have kept the packaging like i do with all of my figures all of my doctor who merchandise anything that i own i will keep the packaging apart from lego lego there's fucking no point of keeping the packaging but i have once or twice but i rarely do but i keep all the packaging for my doctor who stuff and i really like the box for this figure it was smaller than i thought it would be but you know what i i can kind of I'm, I'm happy with the size of the box at first i thought surely it isn't that small because i did used to own the 50th anniversary 10th dr sonic with the like yellow colored handle if you own the 9th dr sonic screwdriver the original 2005 one i i own it i'll I po i'll possibly get it down this video i possibly won't i i generally don't remember so if i do i do if i don't i don't but you know it was um it was basically uh, a 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver re-release, but with a yellow helix and a yellow handle, which was very accurate to the to the temp, to the episode, The Day of the Doctor, which John Hurt featured in, The War Doctor. But over time, I had that for so long, and I loved it so much, it was played with so much, and eventually it snapped. The handle just one day it snapped in my hand, I was playing with it, and the handle snapped. But my mum luckily got me a new just grey handle temp doctor one which i still have to this day but a temp doctor sonic isn't the focus of this review so i should probably stop rambling and get on to the figure so first we'll take a look at its packaging i did order this off ebay and i could only find one for like 50 pound at the cheapest so if you guys want to roast me in the comments for spending 50 pound on a fucking doctor who figure go ahead i really don't care because i love this figure so much and i've wanted it for so long it is so good and i need to quickly pause and quickly clear my throat because i've got a really sore throat right now and i don't know why but i really hope i don't have the cough cough and it is so nice uh it's very like slender very slim it isn't that thick at all so let's take a look at the front you do have the big window picture with the moment in the background 50th anniversary logo right there as this is from 2013 so seven years ago that is, that is hard to take in in two years now because we're in 2021 finally it will be a 60 year anniversary and it would have been it would have been 10 years since my favorite doctor matt smith has been off tv but uh, it's just sad to know that Matt Smith has been gone that long, but he had a good time and he was a really good doctor on the show. So back to the packaging, you do have the moment, 50th anniversary logo, more 50th anniversary special stuff, Doctor Who logo at the time, DW, and it says the other doctor, which I can understand because I don't think they want to put War Doctor on their packaging. Like with a suicide Dalek, they wouldn't call it the suicide Dalek because they probably get, I don't know, they get some shit for it. But you do have the Underground Toys logo thing there. I'm surprised that's not covered because that's normally covered on most things. You do have some nice cog detail, like some cogs on the packaging. And I think that's, I'm, I'm shocked why that's on there because that looks more 12th Doctor era and then this looks more Matt Smith era. But... The 12th Doctor was in the 50th anniversary special, so I guess it does make sense a bit, but it's a bit shocking, so, mm, I don't know. I would have preferred it to be, like, some 10th Doctor era stuff, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, come to the side, 
You see the Doctor Who logo there, the other Doctor, a uh, little right up there, we'll get to that in a minute. You come to the other side, you see more of that like Gallifrey and artwork and some cogs. Oh, well, that was there, is that? No, that was cogs. And that is Gallifrey and artwork. Come to the back, you do have the Doctor Who logo. A really, really lovely picture of the War Doctor. Well, it isn't lovely because he's walking away from a war there. But it just looks so fucking cool, that picture does. It looks so awesome. And if I had a poster of that, I would never take it down. That that just looks so fucking awesome. If you do want to read this, pause the video now. I will not be as focused, so go ahead. But that is a waste of time. Uh, you do have some more. Includes all the accessories. It includes. And all the legal garb on the bottom of Fung Jungle Goodness. Come on to the bottom of the packaging and you do have a, a watermark logo and it is clear it is I forgot the word but it is clear <laughs> we'll just call it that. Um translucent. See I've I've got the big words and it is translucent at the top. Oh, there goes the war doctor. But that is pretty much it for the packaging. So pretty standard and I wish packaging was like this now. Next we will take a look at the accessories this figure comes with. So starting off with probably the most boring in my opinion, it comes with an 8th Doctor head, which I've never fucking understood if it'll focus on it. My hands weren't so shaky, there we go. It is a Paul McGann head from Dark Eyes. And I've never understood why they didn't just put a ninth Doctor head in, because this head goes on that body for some reason. And it just seems weird why they why they put it in this set. I, I, I've i never understood why. I've seen reviews on this set so much. And I've never understood why, but they did. So, can't go back seven years. Oh, okay, is it going to stand? Is it going to stand? It will. And then, I say we had the, probably the most awesome accessory, the fucking moment. It is so fucking cool. It's so well detailed. It has literally got all the wood grain and carving. It is so well painted. It, it is amazing. It is probably second best thing in the set because we all know the War Doctor is the best thing in the set. But it is really good. It would have been cool to it would have been cool to see to see the other version of the moment with the big red button. But I think that's asking for a bit much. Not gonna lie because that just seems like I'm asking them to put in two fucking massive big blocks of plastic. But I mean, would it have been that hard? I mean, it was the 50th anniversary, so they could have done it, but it really doesn't matter that much. Now we'll take a look at the War Doctor figure. This head sculpt is fucking amazing. It is so good. There's been two releases of the 50th anniversary War Doctor figure. There's this one, the original release, and there was the one released in the 13 Doctor set, which I personally... It, it's okay. I like it, but I think this one just looks a bit better. As the jacket on the other one it was way too dark, and the figures, the figures' clothes were way too dark, and there wasn't enough. There wasn't enough like brown in it. It was more black, and it, it just it looked really good. It, it looked like it had some good shadow effect on him, but I don't know if that if that was what they were going for. I'd say. If you want to get a standard War Doctor figure from the 50th anniversary, find this because it is so good. It comes with the sonic screwdriver right here, which looks amazing. It would have been good if there was the red tip on the end, but it doesn't matter that much. There is a little fez on, in there. I don't know if I'll be able to get the sonic out because it took ages to get it in there. But there is a little like red fez bit on the end of the sonic. If I grab the War Doctor Sonic, if I remember at the end of the video, I can show you and you'll see what I mean. But it looks so good. It really fits in his hand. Not good. Doesn't fit in his hand good at all. It, it was such a pain to get it at least that far in. And that's what she said. But, you know, uh, the band, not bandolier, like his little handkerchief scarf thing around his neck looks really well detailed. As I said, the head looks really good. He does have the... Um, what do you call it? The like, uh, the I don't know what that. If anyone knows in the comment what that little chain bit, a little silver bandolier thing, I think that's what it's called. The bandolier around him. I'm gonna call it that. Be 
If you want, you can roast me in the comments for, for calling it that, because I'm probably wrong. It does have the nice waistcoat in, like, the greeny colour, which looks really good, in my opinion. The jacket just is the fucking... It just looks amazing. And technically the fifth foot without the white strip. But it has a little LED at the end, so it go. Which is really cool. It has four four sound effects. So it has that one you just heard. This one. So it's standard sound effects featured on a Sonic. And this is the little red cap bit at the end, which I'll run about. And all the legal flung jungle goodness. So you know. If you like legal garb then this is the sonic for you it does cover up the speakers which i admit looks really good because then it hides that and it makes it look more like an official prop and it is really good the light is so good on this sonic so it fits in really well with the war doctor figure and it is the 50th anniversary one i can't prove it because i don't have the packaging because i got it back in 2014 from comic-con but you need to believe me here, it is the 50th anniversary one. So that is that Sonic. I said I'd show you it. So overall, what do I think of this set? I think this set is fucking amazing. Sonic not included. That just looks really good there, so I put it there. But this figure set is amazing. The only downfall of it is it doesn't include a ninth Doctor Head. For some reason, it includes... An eighth Doctor Head, so just because of that, I'm gonna have to say a you know, fuck it, it's a 10. That is me not even being generous. I've just generally loved this set so much, I think it is so good. But I do wish it did just include a ninth Doctor Head instead of Dark Eyes eighth Doctor Head, but that really doesn't bother me that much. It looks so good still, the figure. And I love it. So, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Tell me what other videos you would like to see in the comments below. Happy New Year. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully, 2021 will be a, a really good year instead of a piece of shit year like 2020 was. And I'll see all you Whovians in the next video. Goodbye.